The Leopards will continue Patriot League play as they'll stay in Pennsylvania this weekend as they head to Bucknell to face the Bison. Hear from Coach John Gare and a couple of the players about what they had to say about this weekend's matchup at Bucknell. Well, we were minus four in turnovers, uh, which was really the key to the game. And, and uh, some of them were unfortunate. You know, it was a tip pass, the guy coming out of a stack uh, after rushing the passer, and it goes into their hands. And then we had two 50-50 balls, uh, Sean making the right read and throwing it on time. And they just they came up with it instead of us. So, And then we had the only bad one was, was uh, CJ just holding the ball a little bit loose when he bounced that ball and caused the fumble. Um, so when you're minus four, you usually get blown out by three, four touchdowns. But the fact that our kids hung in there and kept fighting to the end and only be down by a touchdown uh, with minus four uh, is uh, really a great credit to them. Uh, we just needed to make another play on offense, and it would have been tie score and then overtime. Or uh, and we had some plays out there. We had some plays out there. They uh, threw formations and movements and and uh, motion. You know, we had. We had guys open that they didn't cover, and we just didn't get the ball to them for a variety of reasons. So it could have been, you know, three walk-in touchdowns. But we just have to keep, keep uh, uh, understanding that's a process and and sticking to it, and everybody working towards executing on every play. Uh, I haven't really been able to. I haven't really had to make any adjustments. Just honestly, just do my job. Do what the coaches tell me to do. If I could, I'd have my holder Sean and all the other people on the line up here, but. Obviously can't, but I'm really excited to get back on the field. I've been wanting to get it back on the field for a long time now, so it's really great. Yeah, well, obviously the game's a lot faster than high school, and everyone's bigger and stronger. But I think just the, having the next man up mentality and just being ready and just knowing the plays and executing what the coaches tell you to do is the biggest thing, and just being prepared. No, definitely not. Um, uh, rule number one, we never underestimate anybody. I would just say, like, uh, we just need to start off faster. Um, just coming into off the bye week, you know, you're hoping to get, like, a fast start, and we didn't do that, and it cost us, you know. Um, in the second half, we, we did have to shut up, but at that point in time, it was too late, you know. You can catch all the action from this weekend's game on the Lafayette Sports Network beginning at noon. Reporting for the Lafayette Sports Network, I'm Olivia Mulvihill.